Kyukurarin. That is a song that uh, a lot of VTubers has covered, especially coming out from Hololife. If I'm not mistaken, that's probably seven? Seven of them? Uh, I don't remember. All right, so here's a few. Let me start with the first one. Let's start with Ayame. To be honest, I feel like this song was kind of like made for her. <laughs> her voice definitely complemented the vibe of the song. The cute melody is where she hit perfectly. I like how she was using such a peppy voice for a song that allegedly is about a game character that's literally unalived herself. That did help since it's also about a teenager who acts happy and optimistic, but I don't think it's actually fulfilling the meaning of the lyrics of the song. Let's talk about the music side of things. The volume of the vocal is slightly low comparing with everyone else. Also, this is purely covered. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just Ayame singing instead of Kafu. Now listen, when I say a cover song is not special, doesn't mean it has to be. But imagine there's a bowl of rice and another bowl of rice with chicken. Which one would you pick? That is the question. If you choose the bowl of rice without chicken, there's only two possibilities. One, you're lying to yourself. And two, you're allergic to chicken. So what I'm trying to say is, it's always better when there's more to offer. So when it comes to IMS attempt, I wouldn't say it's the best. Now for Koyori, is it just me or is she like actually running as shown in a cover music video? She was out of breath. Very unsteady vocals with a lot of offbeat notes. The backup vocals also didn't complement the main vocal well. It's a little bit too loud off sync and it's pretty much just messy but she did do it in her own style i can hear the uniqueness in the attempt as she was singing in an exhausting tone like kind of like lethargic kind of probably from pretending to be happy for such a long time as the story in the song sh said now, i don't know if she was doing that on purpose or is it just herself being herself but it works out <laughs> one more thing i want to say koyori is a talented and when I say talented, I mean a very talented emotion singer. She has the ability to tell a story that someone else wrote like it's her own. She was like acting like she was keeping all to herself. That's why she's so tired. And then she sounded like she was literally crying at the end of the song. I gotta say, Koyori is a genius. Let's go for Iroha, the weirdest instrumental remake ever. Change some notes in the original song and use the even weirder sound for the lead melody. Weird in a good way or a bad way, that is a dealer's choice. I have literally no opinion. And it's also one of the most emotionless attempt among all of the covers that I heard for, of this song. But I gotta look at it in another perspective because of the story of the song, right? The emotionless here is not entirely a bad thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Again, same with Koyori. I don't know if she did it on purpose and also the same thing with Ayame, the vocal is kind of quiet, but only in the second verse when the lead melody was playing on top of the vocals. So they got the volume of the sound kind of like upside down in a mix. The vocal was quiet and the lead melody was loud. So are we listening to the instrumental or are we listening to the vocals? Because if you said both, then I can tell you right now, it's just messy. It's like what you hear in a restaurant where everybody just like talking at the same time in the same volume. You can't imagine that. Not a very good choice for me, for you maybe, but I don't like Iroha's attempt. Next for Aqua, the opposite of Iroha. While Iroha was being a robot, no dynamics in the vocals, no emotion. This one was a little bit too much. So many portamento like what are you, an automaton? Like, <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not that bad. But it did kind of ruin the song for me for how many notes she hit using an airplane voice. If you don't know what that is, it's just like starting from a really low note and quickly swipe up to a high note or the main note of this, of that particular note in one syllable. Only known as airplane voice, by me. <laughs> the energy needed to sing like that for almost the whole song is making her voice weaker and weaker till the end. On the production side though, this one I feel like it's the most thorough. With the panning at the instrumental break and the reverb increase and the vocals at the bridge, the engineer behind this particular attempt gave the cover a whole lot more variation. All that being said, not a good vocal attempt. 
but a solid cover as a whole and the next one oh this one is a little bit interesting axel i know you guys are gonna be like ah here we go again ethan is gonna sh on some holo stars again you know what i'm saying like but no this one is actually not bad it's so good i actually would say this is one of the best psych you know how i say aqua was using like an airplane voice axel was like using a flying bicycle like a 300 ms portamento making the notes very off pitch and slow -ish. as a male version cover it still doesn't add too much uniqueness to the attempt it's pretty much like a male version of ayame but his voice is pretty clear i like the breathy voice kind of make this like a justin bieber song instead of a vocaloid song i don't hate the attempt but it's definitely not my first choice. And the next one was one of the more recent one, Hajime. This one was mad. Like, she was angry. <laughs> she shouted. She yelled. Definitely a unique approach. None others I heard were as aggressive as hers. Also, when she sang the word, that the word was like, Kind of showing like her bitter, bittersweet. I, I don't know if that's a good way to interpret it, but it's like it it kind of it kind of sounds like that. She was like actually trying to pretend in this attempt. Really suit the lyrics. The emotion in this attempt was like she was confused. Was she angry? Was she sad? Was she frustrated? Was she anxious? The only thing I know is that she was not happy. Okay, come to the production. Uh. This is a rare occasion in the past, common in the present. Simplicity hit. They didn't go fancy with the mixing and the effect. They let Hajime shine as herself. And the vocal is clean, the volume was mixed perfectly. It was not messy one bit. Now, for the most recent one, which came out only two days ago, Suisei. Hot take might be the most underwhelming attempt among all covers that Hoshimachi Suisei has done. What I want to say is learn about the song before covering it. She made the protagonist of the story a diva <laughs> by the way she was singing it, you know. I'm playing DDLC, I'm not watching Oshinoko. I don't want the sexy Suisei, I want the, the depressed Suisei for... 3 minutes and 36 seconds. Is that too much to ask? But other than that, th there's actually not too many things to say about this one. Like if I say I like the vocal dynamics, it's Suisei. I like how she hit every note perfectly. It's Suisei. I like how she- it's- it's Suisei. It's Suisei, okay? Who's gonna be the first on the comments down below to say, Looks like this is a Suisei bias. So that's it for the video. If you like this kind of videos, uh, please subscribe and like this video to show that you actually enjoyed this video and I'll probably make more. And also comment down below, like which one is your favorite? Because if I have to pick my favorite, I would probably say Hajime's version. But for you, maybe it's a different person because music is subjective. There's no right or wrong. I'm just here to speak on my opinion. I'm not saying you like a different one is wrong. I'm just saying I don't like what you like. <laughs>